what's up guys this is my 2022 wrx we're going to be installing today a third brake light that i picked up from subi speed so let's unbox it let's check it out so thank you to subi speed for having this kit it's only 99 bucks i figured why not do something fun and easy let's go ahead and unbox it and check it out it does say that it is made in china and it's for Looks like it's the same light that'll fit a 2015 WX according to the SKU. Maybe I'm wrong, but I went with the red um, on the outside with like the white on the center. So this is reverse slash brake light. And the cool thing about it is it comes with the harness kit. So no more splicing into the um, rear tail light. So this is an OLM. Um, harness comes with different splice wires here and also comes with your crimping wire leads so just examining this you can see how it kind of clips in here comes with pretty much everything it just pops right in and looking at like the clear LEDs for the reverse I think it's a very nice OEM look and nice match with the tail lights that are on the car so you got that red and white and that red and white. So I think this is going to look good down here. So once you pop the trunk, you're going to go ahead and remove this little plastic clip here. From there, you can go ahead and just pop this rear plastic trim piece out. That's going to reveal a couple of uh, bolts you remove here. And this just pulls straight back. There's a little clip over here. In the corner so you just kind of pull back there pops right out and then once you guys are inside you can disconnect the wiring harness and that's where our adapter harness is going to plug in okay let's go ahead and open our harness package and we'll just connect it right into so they just slip together just like that this little open connector goes into this little tab there we go and then the other end will go into the tail light I'm going to go ahead and feed the wire down. The wiring harness is very nice. You guys can see it's like OEM quality style stuff. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and get underneath the car. I've got my trusty little headband light on. And we're going to use a flat head. And we're just going to pop up a couple of the clips from the underside right here. So we can get these off and then we can maneuver the bumper out a little bit to get to the rear of this plastic piece and pop it out. Okay, so once you get your little clips out, you can look underneath here and you can see there's a couple little black clips underneath that you can basically just depress those up. So there's a good look at that see those little clips are just being held right here so now we can slip the other one in from the back I want to take a second today to talk about today's sponsored item this is Odelphi and this is a lighting headband that you can use when you're out working on your car like underneath and stuff like that there's four different modes and I found this thing very helpful since I've had it so you've got the bright head strip you've got the medium head strip which gives you full illumination of what you're working on and you get this little side light here, bright and low. The head strap is adjustable, so you can adjust it to work on a hard hat or you can put it on your head or whatever you need. This headband is waterproof. It takes two and a half hours to fully charge. There's your charge port there. What comes inside, you get the headband like you guys saw, and you get a USB for charging. I do have a promo code for this. If you guys would like to order one, it definitely helps support the channel. 15% off, it's TY835. You can get this headband for about $35. I've had it for about a month and I've been using it quite a bit. Thank you to Odelphi for sponsoring me on this item and sending me some to test out. So taking a look at this, you can see there's a bracket that's attached here and there's a couple of side holes. So once you slip this into the opening, you've got a little, um, you've got some holes here. You're gonna put some plastic clips on either side and that's going to secure it. All right, let's go ahead and slip this in here. Let's put the wiring through the hole, tuck it down so we can 
get crimped on. Let's go ahead and connect our harness back to the tail light. Go ahead and reattach our 10 mil bolts. Cover back on. So that's all back together. Can't tell it's ever been removed. Let's get underneath to the wiring. Let's see if I can get you guys a look here. So this sits very nice and uh, even with the clips and everything in there. Very simple, nice and sturdy. Get our wires put on here. Probably could have done this before I installed the light, would have made more sense. All right, so we got our main wiring harness here. I'm gonna cut some of this wire back and then strip it and wire it in. So here's a good look at the harness. These are all the different wires. This is for a turn signal, the yellow, so you won't be using that. So I just left it cut off and left off to the side. These are all female connectors here. And these are my male connectors. So let's go ahead and plug them in. As far as your wiring, what goes where, black is ground, brake lights are red, reverse lights are white, green is the running light. So here's a good look at everything, guys. You got black to black, and then you got your green, which comes to the green and gray wire and then you got red which goes to red and black and then you got white which goes to the red wire so everything's wired up all right let's give it a test guys That looks pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Now that everything is functioning properly, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up with a little electrical tape, tuck this out of the way, and we can call this good, and we'll test this out at night. Okay, the only thing I did is I zip tied a couple, I zip ties one here to kind of help um, keep the wiring cleaned up, and another one right here. I hope you enjoyed the night shots that I've got of this, which we'll be doing here after it gets dark. I haven't edited it yet. Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. I'm super excited about this. Um, definitely helps break up all that ugly plastic on the back of the car. I will eventually be painting this top part where you get like that ribbed part and then leaving the black unfinished, but I haven't got to that point yet. And in the meantime, this definitely helps to clean that up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But anyway, I will be back with more content. I've got a bunch of stuff going on with the Skyline GTR. More stuff coming there. I did order pretty much everything I need for the HKS Step 2 Stroker Kit. I ordered the new HKS uh, Crank Angle Sensor and pretty much everything I need to finish the RB26 build. So that will be coming, guys. Stay tuned. Be patient. It's expensive. It's taken me a long time to get to this point. So next WRX video will be the STI shifter back there. We'll get that installed and uh, yeah, from there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.